Okay, and welcome back everybody. Uh, this is, so I'm, we're continuing on with the past build series here. I will go through a number of them, but this one kind of went to the front because if you recall, Transition Model, model just did the uh, inbox review of this kit and I had mentioned I'll do the uh, build review because of a number of things I had to do um, related to the box art. And this, of course, is this kit. The Aoshima. Now, I think it is pronounced Aoshima. But you know what? I was thinking, stevethefish.net, it would probably be great if you could come on screen and just pronounce all these companies the correct way so that we know how to pronounce them. Could you do that? <laughs> if anybody doesn't realize, um, Steve lives in Japan. So anyway, um, this kit is lying on its uh, box art. As you can see, if you were to buy this kit, hoping for all that wonderful chrome underneath the uh, undercarriage, uh, you're going to be sadly disappointed, as um, Chris had just shown the, um, well, I'll show some of the parts here. I don't recall which parts were chrome and which parts were not chrome but I would say you are missing probably half of the um, parts that you need to make that undercarriage look like the box and that is sad and uh, I think the biggest uh, disappointment I think that one of the differentials was chrome and one was not so you gotta make a choice um, Chris was saying he's just gonna strip everything but if you wanted to go the other direction, so what I did is I sent off entire parts trees off to a place called Chrome Tech. And I don't even know if they're still doing anything because of uh, um, uh, companies such as Molotow and uh, the other one uh, where we can pretty much do chrome now. So um, real chrome plating is what he was doing vacuumizing of aluminum is what it's the process is called and so I don't recall which sheets I had to get um, chromed and which sheets I did not but my undercarriage does match the box art I should flip that over and get straight to that because it was necessary to me did I flip it all the way over? I guess so. All right. So there we go. Um, so I would suggest you go and watch Chris's inbox review to find out which parts are chrome and which parts are not. And so you will get to see to what degree you're going to be disappointed. Now, of course, you could sort of paint all this stuff with Molotow, you could paint it with the uh, the spray that was, uh, I can't remember the name of the actual process, but it's not going to look like this, real chrome. Right down to the actual, as you can see, the whole frame had, had that chromed, chrome gas tank, chrome um, muffler, chrome exhaust. It just had to be done at least once, in my opinion. And it's a curbside kit, there's no engine in there, but gosh, you wouldn't know it by looking at this, would you? The wheels were chrome, I know that. But um, a lot of stuff was not. Now, curiously, I'm looking at that rear differential. And I'm seeing another one over here. And there, there were a lot of extra parts in this. We've got some leaf springs. I don't know what the story is. And, you know, it might actually look good with the running boards on there. I might actually still put those running boards on there. And I don't think those were crumbed. I think I had those crumbed. And I've got uh, I've got one roll bar light left, and then I've got all these covers. 
I don't think it would look good with the covers on. And then look at this. this is, these are spindles. Just a bunch of stuff that I found left in the box. But now some other things about this that were just shocking that would force you to do something, really, is, if I remember correctly, that roll bar was not chromed. Nor were, I don't think those lights were. And so I had to, had to get that done. And also, if I remember correctly, there's no holes in the roll bar, so lining up those lights is all you. They did pretty good. Now, things that shocked me, this was in a... I, I was a different person back then. And things that I missed that I cannot believe is like, look at that. I didn't, um, didn't even touch up. Now, of course, Molotov didn't exist yet. But I didn't touch up that at all, where it came off the... And I think at the top... I think the top of the lights, I can't quite see in my viewfinder, but... I think where I pulled those off the tree... Yeah, I've got to go touch up. So, trust me guys, before this goes back in the case, it will get the Molotow treatment. Other than that, it's just a basic um, stock interior, right-hand drive. Uh, real, real super nice tires. Let me see if I can get a close-up of the tire. Yeah, and it's steerable. Oh, look at this. I, looks like, <laughs> this is funny. I started chroming the door handles, and that was just with uh, bare metal foil. But on the other side, nothing. Wow, I've got to finish this. Trust me, guys. It will be finished. I'm noticing there's no rear bumper. Do I even have a rear bumper? I'm, I don't know. But in a nutshell, that's the kit. Looks super awesome coming right at you. You may need to make that the preview picture. So anyway, I think that's all I can say about it. Um, oh, the paint, that is Tester's Sapphire Blue. Sapphire Blue? I think so. Sapphire blue metal flake. Uh, it was the tester's color. Curiously, it's the same exact paint that I painted the Chevy Titan semi. And this is what it looks like out in the sun. So that wraps it up. I appreciate you watching. Let's just give this a spin. And of course, I got to do the 20 second um, outro for the links in the subscribe thing. Yeah, I'm still here. Almost done. I guess.